Hey guys, it's Johanna. I'm actually gonna do this video a little differently than I, I typically do. Um, I wanted to talk about what's currently going on as well as what my plans are for my channel here on YouTube. So I apologize for, for right now uh, regarding the noise. I did decide to come outside today. It's not too windy, which is good. Hopefully I don't get rained on. <laughs> but with everything that's going on, um, what I first wanted to talk about was being part of the planning community. I know from what I've seen on YouTube and more so what I've seen in various Facebook groups that I belong to that, that as planners it has been really difficult to sort of get into the mindset of where we are today versus where we were 10 days ago. Um, things have been canceled, have been rescheduled. The future is not as organized as we'd like. And there is definitely that move to, okay, let's be safe, let's be healthy, let's be kind to one another. But I also think you need to really just acknowledge that your feelings of you know, disappointment, resentment, anger, grief, anxiety, they, they are all valid. And it is unprecedented times for us of, of what's going on as a country, but also, I mean, what's going on around the world. Um, and I think just acknowledging that those feelings are real and that they're valid is, is, is part of it, you know, because we are in anxiety mode, we are in stress mode, we're sort of in a fast forward mode where we want to move, we want to move, we want to move, but we don't actually know where the destination is going to be. Now here in Hawaii, um, I work for the public college school system, and so our students will be going online as much as possible um, starting next week, it is spring break for them. Our public school system, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it. Uh, they're Spring break has been extended through the end of next week and then I don't know if kids are going to go back to schools if they're going to be on a distant education learning curve as well it's just it's really hard being in a state that is service oriented um, we've got lots of tourists here um, there's lots of service industries hotel workers restaurant workers whatnot I mean it really has sort of changed how life is going about and yet it hasn't changed anything at all. I catch the bus every morning, it's the only means for me to get to and from work and I could attribute that there is less people on the bus, more so because it's spring break than because people are staying at home. And it's not that we're not fearful, it's not that we don't have concerns, it's just I mean, if, if you're like like me, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'm not sick, I'm not symptomatic, and it's something that I'm, I'm very aware of. I'm taking all the precautions that I can. I do have some high risk factors, but more so um, family members that I live with have high risk factors. And so while I may not get sick, I certainly wouldn't want to be a carrier for those that I live with and that I love. But on the other hand, because I work in a school, I want to be cognizant of the fact that our students still need our help, our students still need our assistance and our expertise and things that I do, things that other departments do here on campus, they are not things that can be done remotely. And so you want to have that balance of I want to be safe, I want to keep my family safe, I want to keep my students safe, and yet I also want to meet the needs of our students because they're probably higher risk for other things, not so much you know, because of the, the, the age of their population. You know, it might not hit them hard from that perspective, but you know, just like school kids who you know need the, the free meals or have a place to go or the social aspect. I mean, there's just a lot of things that are up in the air right now, and so I just I wanted to talk a little bit about that. And for the direction of my channel, I mean, I, I've I've watched Cindy Gwentert Baldo the other day, and she said, "Well, what do you do if you have a planner channel?" 
and you share your journey of you know your planning style and your planning systems and now all of your plans are just gone or up in the air what do you talk about uh, and I certainly would like to know you guys feedback on that as well I mean my life other than having higher anxiety and higher stress hasn't changed I still come to work every single day I still am trying to do my YouTube projects um, I did close my Etsy shop because I'm not sure if eventually we'll be on a lockdown mode where things aren't just coming in or going out. Living on an island in the middle of the Pacific, we rely on shipping to get supplies. We rely on you know, the post office or UPS or the airplanes to get things out. And so ramifications can quickly escalate and I, for my shop specifically, and it's a, it's a tall, small, tiny shop. Um, I, I just didn't want to get into a position where from this hour to that hour, I get an order and then I can't ship it out because of whatever reason. Now, my channel tends to be on the quirkier, more entertaining side. I mean, not, not on purpose, it's just, <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos, um, I, I always tend to miss the mark a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Uh, and I probably will do more of, of those videos. I think I will start a series um, for the next few weeks of something that's relaxing, uh, something that's just really for the entertainment value, really just to, to hang out and, and be together and just talk through it because <sighs> I hate to say it, but I don't know if this is going to be our new normal for a while. And when we come out on the other side of the new normal, what our normal is going to be for that. Um, because I, I, mean, I truly hope that you and yours are staying safe. And if you have the opportunity, um, stay at home. You know, the social distancing aspect is definitely something we're in implementing here. It's something that we're implementing at home. Wash your hands, don't touch your face. I mean, just follow all of, all of that good advice. But as people who plan, planning for the future might not be what's in, in the cards for us right now, but we can plan and we can manage how we're dealing with the right now and so if you have your planners and you're like well what do I do now continue to decoratively plan and then write down what you did today or what you want to do tomorrow or write down your feelings or practice your lettering or take a nap I mean I know for myself I have had that internal discussion like oh if I only had the time what would I do now for me that's it's it's not the case I'm, I'm still following my same routine but if you are in a position where okay now you have an abundance of time I, I, I don't want to get into the mindset of stick a happy sticker on it and things are just gonna magically be okay it's okay not to be okay but I also I'm hoping that after this initial period of grief and denial, and I think a lot of people are going through that, and anxiety, like a huge anxiety, <laughs> then we look at, okay, how can we manage? How can we be constructive? How can we move forward as individuals, as family members, as friends, as society members? How can we be kind to ourselves and to others? I'm. I'm I don't know. I don't know if any of this is making sense, but it's it's been on my mind, um, and I'll I'll talk probably a little bit about it in the beginning of videos or while I'm doing videos. Because I mean, again, this is the new normal, and I don't want to be the sky is falling, but I also don't want to be everything's great. Don't even worry about it. Um, I just I don't know where this is going, and I don't know where I'm going in this and I just I really wanted to just put that out there and talk to you guys um, I'm fine my family is fine those around me are fine and I am hoping that wherever you are wherever you're watching this that you are fine that you are staying safe that you are being healthy that you're following all the precautions that you can and yeah 
that's that's it for me so if you do have ideas on what you'd like to see for my channel during this period you know would you like to see more layout videos would you like to see more diy tutorial videos do you like the the reading journal videos or the art videos um challenges i mean again i, I film on the weekends so you know Time is definitely going to be a factor, but I, I definitely want to, if I possibly can, help at least take your mind off of things for a little while. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.